The program, Promoting Integrated and Participatory Ocean Governance in Ghana and Suriname, the Eastern Gate to the Caribbean, is hosted by the World Wildlife Fund, WWF Ghana's, in tandem with the Protected Areas Commission and was launched in 2017. It is sponsored by the European Union. WWF Country Manager Aisha Williams, in her brief remarks to members of the media, explained that the marine ecosystem is important not only for the livelihood of especially many coastal communities, but also the economies of the Ghanas. We see it necessary to ensure that there are actions that are undertaken not only by governments, not only by conservation agencies or organizations, but also by all stakeholders. And this is the the premise on which we are implementing this project. Friday saw the culmination of an expedition which forms one component of that program, comprising some 11 persons, six of which are marine biologists. Sophia Edgel, a marine officer at the WWF, gave an overview of what the experience was like. The focus, I should mention, was on marine megafauna or the larger uh, marine species. Uh, there we encountered uh, species such as the sperm whale, the pygmy sperm whale, um, several species of dolphin, which included the pantropical uh, spotted dolphin and the rough-tooted dolphins. There were several species of birds also that were encountered. Acknowledging that there is a deficit with regard to information on Ghana's coastal and marine ecosystem, Deputy Commissioner of the Protected Areas Commission, Odesi Davis, posited that the expedition by the team will now form a database, which could be used for decision-making in many regards. This data is really going to help us to uh, make decisions. It's going to inform us on the way forward and really add to that marine spatial planning process that we have uh, started to initiate. Representing the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Hugh Todd, was Donet Street, Senior Foreign Service Officer at the Ministry, who asserted that Ghana is expected to pursue and craft a relevant ocean governance framework to manage its maritime resources, which would not have been possible without expeditions like the one undertaken. And the Ministry looks forward to the completed marine spatial plan um, that, that would assist with uh, our overall framework of ocean governance when that is completed. Fernando Pons Canto, European Union Ambassador to Ghana and Suriname, also issued a brief statement during which he posited that the current inhabitants of the earth are only borrowing its space and resources from future generations and therefore this generation and the next must do all it can to set the precedent for oceanic preservation and the sustenance of livelihoods of seafarers. To uh, make decisions is going to inform us on the way forward and really add to that marine spatial planning process that we have uh, started to initiate. So over the coming months and years as a country, we're looking to uh, be able to um, advise policymakers and probably very soon be able to identify potential areas for conservation. The cost of the expedition is pegged at 1 million euros and is expected to consolidate data on Ghana's megafauna and marine life. Similar activities were carried out in Suriname. Wendell Badry for the HGP Nightly News.